Tonight on Versus, we're launching you into space and plunging you into the sea to decide which extreme environment is harder to live in. Place your bets between these final frontiers. It's Mars versus the ocean floor. Why leave our planet when we still have over 80% of the sea to explore? We're dropping you down to the lowest of lows. That's right, folks. It's the ocean floor. Matching the size of Australia, this mysterious area is called the Haddle Zone, named after Hades, the Greek god of the underworld. Sounds, uh, inviting. But its total darkness and potential deep sea creatures haven't hindered our curiosity. Not your scene? Now we're blasting you off to Earth's closest planetary neighbor to scope out our second contender. You guessed it, it's the mighty planet Mars! Scientists have discussed the possibility of life on Mars. More evidence is being discovered as technology and exploration improve. Liquid water under the surface and trace amounts of methane have been detected on the planet, meaning past, present, and future living organisms could be out there. Could humans become the next generation of Red Planet residents? Or should we just stick to our own planet? It's showtime! Round one, equipment. All aboard the tour bus! Well, it's more like a tour sub. In May 2020, American undersea explorer Victor Vescovo started offering commercial trips to the Mariana Trench. 12 hours on board, the limiting factor will set you back a modest $750,000. Once it's submerged, the 12,500 kilogram vessel will need to be weighed down and made ready for you and your team. If a 12-hour submarine ride has you feeling antsy, you're not going to like this next bit. At its closest approach to Earth, a one-way flight to Mars would take around 260 days. You could fast forward with more fuel, but it would add to the hefty price tag. NASA's decades-long project to send the first human to Mars by the 2030s comes at a cost. Think $1.5 trillion. The commute to Mars is clearly longer, but the living conditions of a proposed base such as Elon Musk's Mars Base Alpha would be more spacious than on board a submarine. Mars wins round one. Round two, ecosystem. The ocean floor's atmospheric pressure is 109 kilopascals with temperatures sitting around four degrees Celsius. There's no shortage of natural water, but we'd need to tinker with it first. Humans can't drink salt water, so you'd have to remove the salt. Sea cucumbers and shrimp could be on the menu too, and other edible marine life that could be lurking in the dark. To grow food and plants, you'll need artificial lights and soil from home. You'll also want to pack some vitamin D3 since the ocean floor has zero sunlight, which is, you know, a bit of a bummer. Let's upgrade that seasonal depression to regular old year-round depression. Mars isn't the most inviting future habitats either. With its chilly temperatures averaging minus 63 degrees Celsius and a climate that's mostly carbon dioxide. Its atmosphere is also ultra thin, clocking in at 0.6 kilopascals compared to Earth's 101.3 kilopascals. With such a thin atmosphere, you're going to have to add falling meteorites to your list of anxieties. As many as 200 meteorites per year reach the surface of Mars. As for resources, we could collect freshwater ice and subsurface water on Mars, plus the natural soil contains nutrients for plants to grow. And while it's less than half the wattage of Earth, Mars does have natural sunlight. Mars takes round two. Round three. Worst case scenario. Just as you're settling in on board the sub, the underwater pressure breaches your vessel. The exposure would likely crush you in seconds, and if that didn't kill you, you can always count on drowning or hypothermia to do the trick. If you somehow survived, an escape pod could safely transport you to the surface for rescue within hours. But don't forget, we aren't aware of every creature lurking in the trenches. You might just meet your demise thanks to a prehistoric predator. Meanwhile, in space, your spaceship has been punctured. Exposure to the low pressure would rupture your skin and organs, and your body fluids would start to boil. Ouch would be an understatement. Please, God, no! You would likely be wearing a spacesuit or have access to one nearby, which could buy you time to repair your spaceship. If not, rescue is nearly a year away. The ocean floor takes this round because 
Well, at least you're still on Earth. Numbers don't lie, folks. Give it up for the red planet itself. Mars wins! Ready for another vacation from hell? Next, we're sending you to Snake Island and Komodo Island to see which destination is worse. We'll see who wins on another round of Versus 